Hi loves, I'm filming this on Sunday, November 6th. So I just got back from Hurricane Who in Orlando. It was a weekend long Doctor Who convention. Um, this was honestly the best weekend I've had in my entire life. And I know I've said that a lot about weekends and conventions and um, trips. However, I never felt as depressed as I did leaving today. So that tells you right there that yes indeed this was the best weekend I have ever had. It was a fairly small convention. Um, I had 500 people at maximum and most of them were there just one day on Saturday only. So that meant Friday and Sunday panels were very small very intimate even the Saturday night panel that like the um, the late ones were small and intimate and very homey and they were some of the ones I went to but there were a lot a lot of people there so for us to be able to be one-on-one -on -one with not only the guests um, like the big name guests but the panel leaders and the coordinators of this convention was a really awesome experience. It was just, I, I love the feeling of this smaller convention and I don't really think I've ever been to one this small and I love it that way. Obviously there's a new inclusion in my room and that would be what is behind me, my beautiful blue police box. I saw the cutout and I knew that was it. Like, I had to have it. I did not, unfortunately, get a Sonic screwdriver. Um, we were there Friday the first day and we're like, okay, Sonic's, you know, we'll come back tomorrow when we're here, you know, waiting in line. Um, we'll, we'll get them on Saturday. Come back Saturday all the good ones are gone. All the um, tens are gone. What I did get, however, was this TARDIS and a beautiful, amazing poster, which I love two bits. There were a lot of really good posters and it was very hard to choose, but in the end, in the end I settled on this poster, poster Tenet. Um, yeah, I don't really feel like standing up because it's really long, but it's a full body poster. Like it, like, it has his entire body. And what does it say around it? It says, The Doctor, Time Lord, Travel of Time and Space, over 900 years old. Um, behind him it says, Relative Dimensions in Space, Time Vortex, Rose Tyler, Martha Jones, Donna Noble, um, Sarah Jane Smith. I'm assuming that's Captain Jack Harkness because it says Cap. Who's that? River Song Daleks Sonic Screwdriver. And it has Gallifreyan in the background. Another thing I spent my money on was Arthur Darville. I paid for a picture with him. That's why I'm all fancy smancy today. But I'm actually I dressed up all weekend because I like dressing up. I think it's fun. And I need a frame for this picture. It's the one picture with somebody I, I do have so I'm very excited and uh that's it that, that's that's Arthur he he was just so cool I went to get to the picture with him he's, he's like hey how you doing she shook my hand um he's, he's just very willing to interact with fans I guess is what I'm trying to say um don't think it's coming out quite so well but that's all right his, his friends were there and Oh god, the game show. Oh god, just... I'm uploading videos of Arthur's panels and um, just the Doctor Who New York Minute. Um, that panel was the funniest shit I have seen in the history of ever. Arthur's friend Kian was up there doing that, so Arthur was like, right by us taking pictures of his friend and stuff and it was just so cool. I said it last night and I will say it here for everyone 
Leaky Con, you can have Ivana Lynch. I had Arthur Darville, <laughs> and honestly, I ain't even bothered about Leaky anymore. Like, I, I'm just not. I, the other guest, there was Naoko Mori, who is Toshiko Soda from Torchwood. There was Paul, Paul Mark Davis, who was in the Sarah Jane Adventures. We had Scott Tepperman there from Ghost Hunters International, and I honestly didn't see much of him. But Paul Bradford, he was also from Ghost Hunters International, you know, he's like the other guy in the team. He, we saw a lot of, because he is a big Whovian. And that was really cool. He's like, he's really cool. I really like him. And then we had Terry Malloy. He played Davros with the 5th, 6th, and 7th Doctors. He was hilarious. Oh my god, this guy is just hysterical. I love him. And, and then the final guest was Jeremy Bullock. He's very well known for playing Boba Fett in Star Wars. For the closing ceremony, Jasmine, Lexi, and I were playing Sopio in like the main area in the conference center again. And we were just sitting at a table playing Sopio. Um, <clears throat> and, you know, some people had been looking at our cards all day, like coming up and watching us and just like not saying anything, just walking away. So finally, two girls came up to us and were like, are you playing Sophia? We're like, yeah. And so we started playing with them. And they, actually, and they actually have a collaboration channel on here. And it's called Synonyms of Awesome, which I, I think is a brilliant name. That was really cool, getting to hang out with other nerd fighters. Oh, I didn't talk about the TARDIS party. The TARDIS party, if you happen upon this, I love you guys. They're a cosplay group. They're really funny. Um... <laughs> They're really nice. I, I really enjoy talking to some of them. Okay. <laughs> That's about it. <clears throat> I will have Arthur Darville's panels up, and I will have the game show up, and I will have the costume contest up, and other miscellaneous videos. They will be up eventually. So... I will say goodnight to you all. Um, goodbye. Goodnight. I love you all. Mwah.